Thank you. Good, good afternoon, all you merry folk of uh, Countdown Land. We're here for another week, stretching in front of us. We know not what lies ahead. We had a great week last week. Uh, new champion, a nice new young champion to tell you all about. And uh, a nice viewer in Clitheroe. Uh, do you know where Clitheroe is, Carol? Yes, Lancashire. Lancashire. Which is Jim, nice. That's where Jimmy Clitheroe was from, isn't <laughs> well, it? Yes, I think that's probably true. Yes. yes. Uh, little ode to you and Carol. I love to probe the peaks and valleys of Rich's little witty stallies. And while his jokes are unconventional, I'm not convinced they're pun intentional. That's good, isn't oh, it? Oh, pun intentional. Very good. Dear Carol is a number cruncher, not to be dismissed by Jove. She's far too smart for most of us. A proper little treasure trove. Oof. I dash about throughout the day to make time to see your show. I wouldn't miss your triptic quiz for all the tea in Clitheroe. <laughs> well, it's quite sweet, isn't it? I thought the first verse was the best. A nice but cup there of tea. So that's Mrs. Wynne Williams Thank of you, Wynne. Clitheroe. OK. Now, I talked about this nice new champion. He's not from Clitheroe. Well, the name like Campbell or Laurie. Where do you think he's from? Yes, he's from Scotland. And here he is, champion Campbell and challenger Ian Corku. Well, Campbell uh, uh, flew in, I suppose, really. Well, he actually came by train, I think. But uh, he, uh, he flew into the Countdown uh, Champions show with an, a stunning 97. So, well done. Uh, it was a bit... Well, it was towards the end that you, you, you took it all, didn't you? So, there he is. He works for a, a fast food chain with a Scottish name. Hey? Right, can't think what that is. But that's <laughs> Campbell in control. Now, we have Ian Corku. Have I said that right? You have indeed, Richard. OK. If I say, if I call you Corsu, will you do things to me under the table? Well, only if you want me to. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he's from Nether Wallop. Heck, Nether Wallop. In Hampshire, two sons. He's got, he owns an art gallery. He used to be an RAF pilot, flying Phantom, Hunter and Jaguar aircraft. He opened his art gallery in 1985, which has now gone from strength to strength and regarded one of the leading uh, contemporary art galleries in Britain. Um, he says he's a season ticket holder at Southampton Football Club. So this will go down well here with our audience in Leeds. So if he can beat he, the champion this afternoon, he may celebrate by visiting a few Pahars in Leeds. That's the saintly Ian Corku. No one in the audience suppose there's anything Southampton play. Not a clue. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, look, uh, we've got a great man on today. Uh, our old Jim Davison said that today's the guest in Dictionary Corner, in fact, was the most sought-after after-dinner speaker in the country. Uh, he hasn't really. It's also a TV household name, although we'll be after this. He's been on Sky TV, and he actually... So, you know, one or two people have seen him on that. He's been on uh, Auntie's Bloomers with Terry Wogan, so... Well, he's not used to big audiences. Uh, but he's also... <laughs> He's also an honorary barker in the Variety Club. Now, given that he's known as the cat, must make him the only barking cat in the country. Aided by Susie Dent, please welcome comedian and after-dinner legend, Bob the Cat Bevan. Thank you. Thank you very much. Welcome, Bob. It's good to see you. And you, Richard. Nice Why you call the cat? Let's get this over. Um, well, my hopelessness as a goalkeeper, you know, the name of the cat is given to a goalkeeper who's remarkably slim and lithe. Amazingly agile with astonishing cat-like reactions. Yes. And I give my, de I give my defence kittens, so uh, <laughs> that's why I'm called the cat. OK, uh, that's Bob the Cat, Bevan. OK, everybody, all ready? Let's go. Campbell. A, a consonant, please. Thank you, Campbell. We start with P. And another, please. G. And a third. N. And a vowel, please. A. And another vowel. O. And a third vowel. O. And a consonant. R. And a vowel, please. E. And a consonant to finish off, please. And Z. Right, gentlemen, here we go. OK, Campbell. Yeah, six. Six, Ian. Six for me. OK, you start, Ian. Orange. Orange. Our favourite word, because 
We, don't like, we like that because we think nothing rhymes with orange. Uh, six, Campbell. I've got oranges. Orange. Now. Okay. Well done. Well done. Okay. Well, we've got orange for six, uh, Bob. Yes, well, uh, um, I, I've only got one O level, so uh, I came up with Prang. But uh, <laughs> Susie, with her degree, came up with Oregano for seven. So. Yeah. Oregano? Oregano, yep. Is that a herb? It's it is a herb. herb. herb yeah. 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 Oh, I thought it was paper folding. That's origami, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> right. Um, so, Oregano, very good. Well, six and six isn't bad. Ian. Good afternoon, Carol. Could I have a consonant, please? You may, Ian. N. And another. D. And another. F. And a vowel. U. And another. E. And a third. And I. And a consonant. S. And another consonant. K. And... Another consonant. And a consonant, Ian. And that's R. OK, start the clock, please. Seven. Right. Uh, Camel? Seven. Ian, seven. Frisk. Frisked. Frisked. Uh, Campbell? Refunds. And refunds. Refunds and frisked, as opposed to Frisky the Cat. Yes. <laughs> what yes. do you say, Cat? Not as frisky as I used to be, Richard, really. Oh, well. But uh, the only other one we've come up with, and I, I'm pleased I actually got this myself, was ref oh, refunds, yes, no, he got that too. Yeah. Uh, no, infused is, the, uh, is another seven, but mm. we can't beat seven. No, lots we? of sevens there. Friends, yeah. duskier, but no better. Duskier? Seven. Duskier. Right. Yeah. Oh, dusky. Or duskier. Dusky and the comparative of dusky. Ah, dusky, yes, that's right. Yeah. Okay, so we're some sevens. Uh, we're in seven heaven there for um, uh, the sevens, round two. Anyway, 13 and 13, good. All right, young Campbell. I'll start with a consonant, please. Thank you, Campbell. C. And a vowel, please. I. And a consonant. J. And another consonant. Q. And another consonant. X. I was just about to say, oh, you'll have the X next. Um, J, Q and X. I'll go for another consonant. That's terrible, sorry. M. And a vowel, please. O. And another vowel. I could cry for you. E. And a consonant to finish and off. And a consonant. Thank you, Campbell. My apologies. That's S. Yes, thank you very much. Here we go. Just a five. Okay, now Liam. Sadly, just a five for me as well. Okay, well here, so. Campbell's five. It mixes. Mixes. Yeah, Ian. And comes. Comes and mixes. Well, we're on five here. What about you two guys? Well, uh, that's all we came up with yeah. as well. There's nothing, nothing else. No, very well, tough. it was uh, difficult, wasn't it, with the J and the Q and the X? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not the easiest of selections. Okay, you did well to get the five. Okay, well, we're on to 18s there, everybody. And Ian, it's your letters, please. A consonant, please, Carol. L. And again. N. And again. T. And a vowel. A. And another vowel. E. And a third vowel. O. And a consonant. R. And a consonant. Another consonant. V. And a uh, vowel, please, Carol. And a vowel. This looks a lot better than the last round, doesn't it? And that's E. Uh, right, we start the clock.
Okay, Ian. Um, a dodgy eight, but I think it's very dodgy. Okay, well, we like the dodgy ones. Campbell? I've just got a six. Here the six then, Campbell? It revolt. Revolt. Very dodgy eight. Uh, relevant. R-E-L-E-V-A-N-T. Why is that dodgy? I've got a mental blank sitting here. I thought it might be E-N-T. No, it's absolutely right. A-N-T. <laughs> Perfect for eight. Well done. Very good. <laughs> it's not dodgy. In fact, it's swinging, as the great <laughs> late Norman Vaughan used to say. Remember that catchphrase? Swinging. Yeah, yeah it's a swinging relevant. Very good. You're older than you look, Richard, aren't you? I am I Remember older. Norman Vaughan. <laughs> Reno renovate is another eight as well. So there were oh, two eights there. Renovate for eight and relevant for eight. Yep. OK, good. Well, that's uh, a couple of uh, handy eights there. Uh, so Ian goes 26, uh, you stand 18, Campbell, and Campbell chooses the numbers. Uh, I'll go for one from the top and five wee ones. OK, wee ones. I love the way you said it. Five wee ones. Say it again. Five wee ones. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> OK, we've got five and six, three and two, ten, and the big one is 100, and the other's a wee, and the target is 779. OK, guys, 779, 779. Well, it's 779, seven, Campbell. 780. That's one away. Ian? 779. Seven, OK. Yeah, let's have a look. You've I haven't written it down. No, well, you know, as long as you can go through it with Carol and get it right, you're on a tenner. Right. Uh, 100 plus 10, Carol, is 110. It is indeed. 5 plus 2 is 7. Made a 7 that way, yes. Multiply. Uh, multiply and add the 6 and the 3. Absolutely right. 779. Seven, yeah. Right. Well, I reckon that's pretty good because I was watching Carol, uh, and uh, you've probably done it, have you? But I have you, done it. It took you a long I, time, didn't it? Uh, it did actually, because yeah. I was trying to do the eight and then go down from 800 to start with, but then I, d I ended up doing 111 times seven and adding the two at the end. So. Yeah. Okay, well, well done. That's a good start for you in. That's uh, 36, 36 and uh, 80. So there he is. And there we are to now to Bob, the cat, Bevan, after dinner speaker. But uh, actually, this is just tea time, so yes, be I'm careful. Think on, lad. I'm not too good if I haven't eaten, actually, so <laughs> I hope this goes all right. But I've got to say, it's great to be here. Life's ambition, realised for me, Richard, to work with you and your daughter here. So it's absolutely <laughs> great. <laughs> and uh, anyway, soon after uh, we finish here, I'm off to Australia. So I'm a big cricket fan. I'm wearing this Kent Cricket Club uh, tie here. And uh, I love going to Australia. I'm going to Australia to watch the Ashes. And I love the way the Australians go on and they like to burst people's bubbles all the time. And there's this story about Sir Robert Fellows, former private secretary to Her Majesty the Queen, who landed in Australia. And the guy behind the counter, uh, the immigration desk, said, Good eye, mate. He said, Good morning, my good man. And he handed his passport over and he took the passport, opened it up. And there on Sir Robert's passport, under occupation was the word courtier. So he looked at it, handed it back. Sir Robert was just about to move off when the bloke leaned over the desk and said, pardon me, mate. He said, yes? He said, I hope you don't mind me mentioning it. He said, no, what? He said, there's no tea in courier. <laughs> <laughs> Good countdown joke, that, isn't it? Yeah, it is. But, oh! You see, I mean, I mean, I'm a huge fan of Australia. I go there a lot. But I mean, what I like really? to see about the Australians, when they ask you a question, they're not all that interested in you particularly. When I said I come from Yorkshire, they say, yeah, we're well, from London. They say Yorkshire. They say, oh, veterinary, veterinary. They've all heard of James Herriot. But, but when they, they ask you, they, when they do ask you a question, they answer it at the same time, you see. They say to a girl, what's your name, Sheila? <laughs> or uh, what's your favourite colour, blue? <laughs> what are your hobbies, sport? You know, nice yeah. that way, aren't they? What, what do you do for a living, digger? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you see. 
Charming. They'll think we've rehearsed this, won't they? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. There's no danger of that. No danger of that. OK, we certainly haven't rehearsed our tea time teaser. Here's the first one of the week. You're going to like this. Uh, not a lot, but perhaps a little. Herb cam. Herb cam is the, uh, the base word. And uh, your dictic clue is music from the heart, question mark. Herb Cam, yes. Uh, chamber, of course, chamber. Music from the heart, so obviously chamber music from the heart. I think there's uh, various chambers in the heart, aren't there? So they yes, tell me. there are. Chamber. Well, um, there are in mine. <laughs> 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 I'm not sure about yours. Well, uh, when I get the key to your heart, Carol, I'll... Uh, Richard, I'll I gave it to you years ago and you and threw I'm it away. <laughs> <laughs> To share it with too many others, I'm afraid. <laughs> now, uh, here we go. Stunning start by Ian there on 36, and uh, the champion there on uh, 18, in much fact. So, Ian, champion, off you go. <coughs> oh, sorry, not the champion. Ian's no, the challenger. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, a consonant, please, Carol. At least you've still got your name right, Ian. <laughs> We've got C. And again, please. G. And again. S. And a vowel. A. And another one, please. E. And a third. Another vowel. O. And a consonant. D. And another consonant. Y. And a vowel, please. And A. Mm. OK, folks, here we go. Okay, Ian. Just six. All right, Campbell. Just five from you. Five for the Campbell. Yeah, cages. Uh, what? Cages. Is... Yes, cages. Cages. Now six, Ian. Adages. Adages. Oh, ah. yeah. mm. Like the poor cat in the adage, eh? Yes. Mash back. Adage. Adage is like a proverb, isn't it? It's absolutely right. It's saying, yeah. Adages. Yeah, very good. That's a good word, that. And well, um, also, we could have uh, we could have two other sixes, uh, cages and decays. Mm -hmm. Oh, decoys actually is there as well. Just oh, decoys. Twist on yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. And that, was a, that was a decoy of decays. Yeah. So, <laughs> okay, well, it's six anyhow, so we can't get more than six, so well done. All your sixes out there. Uh, now, Campbell. I'll start with a vowel, please. Thank you, Campbell. E. And another, please. U. And a third. And E. And a consonant. T. And another consonant. P and another H and another L and another consonant T and a vowel to finish and A. Okay, start the clock. Right then, Campbell. A uh, seven, I think. A seven. Dodgy seven, yes. Uh, Ian? Ju just a five. OK, what's the five? Petal. A petal. <laughs> Who are you calling petal? <laughs> um, Campbell. A pallet. P-A-L-E-T-T-E. P-A-L-E-T-T-E, yes, that's absolutely fine. An artist's palette. Good. Very good. Yeah, nice yeah. one, isn't it? Well done. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Or the seven. Bob. Uh, uh, well, the brain here has come up with eight. A uh, telepath. Mm, a telepath, uh, which is, as you would expect, a person with the ability to use telepathy. 
there we are. Good. Uh, where are we are? 42 and 25. Three rounds to go this half. Letters now from Ian. Uh, a consonant, please, Carol. Thank you. R. And again. D. And again. And again. S. And the vowel, please. A. And another. E. And a third. I. And a consonant. M. And another. N. And another, please. And T. Thank you. Start counting down. Okay, Ian. Eight. Another eight. Good. Campbell. Eight. Ah, oh, the Campbells are coming with an eight. What have you got, Campbell? Minarets. Minarets, Ian. Raymonts. R A I M E N T S. Mm, very good. Raymonts. I will just make a point about Raymonts. Uh, is it sort of a mass? Oh, I would thought Raymonts yeah. might be just. Yeah, no, you're absolutely like right. Clothing. I think um, this may be a word that has changed from dictionary to dictionary as, as the language evolves. And you're absolutely right, Richard. I will just check that it's not there as an uncountable noun. No, you're absolutely right. My mistake, you can't actually pluralise it. It is a mass noun. Mm. So, raiment for, for clothing. I think sometimes in the Bible you might come across raiments, but, but now it has to be just, just in the... Yeah, it is singular. a biblical word. It's hard, not yeah. particularly used much, but it no. is... Yeah, so sorry about that. A mass noun. Yeah. Sorry about that. Now, uh, so you're still on 42. Uh, you're on 33, creeping up. And you're on uh, letters, Campbell. Uh, I'll start with a consonant, please. G. And another. R. And a third, please. L. And a vowel. E. And another vowel. I. And another vowel. E. And a consonant. P. And another consonant. D. And a consonant to finish off, please. And R. OK, folks. Count you down. A six. A six, Ian. A six for me as well. Okay, here, Ian, six. Glider. A glider, yep. A bit different from your sort of normal mode of transport, eh? Hopefully. Yes. Eamon <laughs> Campbell. Griped. 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 <laughs> That's a silly word, isn't it? Griped. Um, Suzette's well, okay. Well, there, there, yeah, uh, there are two sevens as well. Uh, um, replied and pleasure. Mm-hmm. Someone who pledges. Yeah, OK, pledges. replied and pledger um, for the seven. OK, we go up by the six, so it's 39.48. Now, Ian, Carol's quaking because she hasn't got the measure of you. She doesn't know what you're going to uh, ask I for. I think he's a one from the top man. You think he's a sort of high... A sort of I do. RAF type, you know? I do. Oh, yes. no, no, I, no, we might be... We might like a little more danger. Yes. Might just like six small ones. Let's find out. Mm. I've never been a man for small ones, Carol. No, I'll, I'll, I'll have, uh, as you liked it from Campbell, I'll have five small, uh, five... Wee ones. Wee ones. Yes. And a big one. And a big one. I was right. I was right first time. Right, thank you very much, Ian. You have five and two, ten and four, two and fifty. And a target there. Oh, it's not the same, was it? It was seven, seven, nine last time. So it's seven, nine, nine. Yeah, OK, 799, 799.
Oh, well, wow. 799, Ian. We've only got 800. 800, yep. Can't just get the one to take away, but 800. Campbell? 800 as well. OK, right. Um, go for you, Campbell, please. Uh, 4 plus 2 <laughs> is 6. 4 plus 2 is 6. Times 5. Say that again? Times 5. Multiply Multipl by the 5 is 30. Oh, it's 30, yeah. And add that one to the 50. Oh, I see. I was wondering where you're going. Then. And then multiply that by the uh, 10. Which is 80. Multiply that by 10 gives you 800. What are you left with? Yeah, Ian? Uh, 10 plus 4 plus 2 is 16 yeah. times 50. Multiply it by the 50 is 800. Again, it's all about how you make the 16. Um, if you said 10 minus 2 is 8, then multiply it by the other 2 over here. Yeah, that gives you 16. Yeah. Multiply that by 50, that gives you 800. And this time you can say 5 minus 4 is 1. Take that away. And that's 799. <laughs> Yeah, very frustrated not to be able to just uh, get rid of that little tiddler to get the 799. Anyway, 46 and 55, that's the end of part two here. Uh, here's our little uh, teaser, hardcore. Hardcore is the word. And, uh, well, clues for this, I don't know. You can take your pick. Yeah, that's it. Uh, orchard. Orchard, of course, uh, where you can take your pick. Well, right. Anyway, uh, we're saying, who do we say yes to? We're saying yes to Campbell, who's on 46, and uh, even yes to Ian's on 55. So, let's say, Ian, yes, it's you. Uh, sorry, it's not Ian. It's Campbell. <laughs> I'm getting so excited here. It's Campbell's letters. Uh, can I start with a consonant, please? We haven't quite woken up today. Um, excuse us all. L. And another, please. B. And a third. Is it going to be W? No. F. And a fourth. Leg before foot. T. And a vowel, please. A. And another vowel. E. And another vowel. O. And a consonant, please. N. And a consonant to finish off, please. And C. OK. Counting down. Campbell? Uh, just a six. Right, Ian? Only five, I'm afraid. OK, here are the five. Clone. Clone. Six. Falcon. Falcon. Mm. Very good. Yes. Falcon is good. Yep. But, uh, in fact, there are two eights, neither of which I got, I hasten to say, <laughs> and my friend here will have to explain them. Conflate yep. and falconet. Yes, you could have added an ET there, Campbell. A falconet is a small falcon, or indeed a, a cannon. Um, and to conflate two things is to mix two things or combine them. So both there for, for mm. seven. Falconets are sweet. Eight, isn't it? sorry. A little, a little falcon. Yes, it's a lovely Great. word. Yep. OK, well, falcon, flying high with his falcon, and that's 52. Closing in here, folks. Ian, it's letters, please. A consonant, please, Carol. S. And again. M. And a third. And G. And a vowel. I. And again. O. And again. U. And a consonant. L. And another. R. And another. And S. Right, thank you. Counting down. Dodgy eight. 
Campbell. Just a six. A six, what's the six then? Uh, Glowers. Pun? G-L-O-U-R-S. G-L-O-U-R-S. No, I'm afraid not. It has to be W-E-R-S. There's no, no yes. glower. Yes, okay, so we rule out glowers. Now this dodgy eight. I don't think there's much hope for me then with glimmers. G-L-I-M-O-U-R-S. Oh, you was No. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like glamour. I thought not. <laughs> glimmers. Two nice verbs, but Absolutely. they're not there. Absolutely. Glowers and glimmers, but no can do with those ones, no. Well, it, it, it looked very promising, didn't it, yeah. really? But in fact, we, we can't get higher than five. And no. uh, we've got gross and girls. I've got slums and slugs. Yeah. Which sort of sums me up, really. Yeah. <laughs> so there we are. OK, well, that was a beast, wasn't it? That's yeah. gross. Uh, and girls also. So, well, well tried, chaps, but uh, no points there. So 52 and 55, down to the final three now. Campbell's choice of letters. Yeah, I'll start with a consonant, please. OK. H. And another. D. And a third. And T. And a fourth. M. And a vowel, please. A. And another vowel. E. And another vowel. O. And a consonant. W. And a consonant to finish, please. And we finish with T. So, what can he get out of that? Out and out. Campbell. Just a four, sorry. You've got a four. Now, Ian? I've got a six. OK, here, four, Campbell. Toad. Toad. Uh, that has a Mr. Toad. T-O-A-D. Yes, Toad. Now it's six. Method. Ah, method. Yes, method. Yeah. Yes, that's... Uh, we can't beat that. We, uh, we did also get moated, mm. which I know your estate is, Richard. It is moated. We, I, yes. like to, I would like to keep uh, myself to myself. Uh, moats around my bedroom. Well, I think we're all grateful for that, Richard. <laughs> you keep yourself to yourself. <laughs> right, anyway, method is, is uh, we're on to six and moated, as in the poem by Tennyson, Mariana in the Moated Grange, which I'll recite to you if you want. No! All right. Uh, right, 52 and 61. Uh, Ian, final numbers, please. Uh, <laughs> Five small ones and one large one again, please. OK. Please. Thank you, Ian. All right. Smallest of all, number one, followed by ten, six and nine, five and seventy-five. And a target, much lower, three hundred and twenty-nine. Uh, right, three, two, nine, three, two, nine. Well, 329, Ian. 329, but I haven't written it down. OK. Well, you're sort of writing something, but you're... Okay. 329, Campbell. I'll just get 325, sorry. 325, OK. Well, we're looking at you, Ian. 329. Um, 75 minus 10, Carol. 65. 65. Times the 5. Multiply by the 325. Is 325, yes. 9 plus 1 minus 6 is 4. It is indeed. And add it on. Absolutely right, 329. Yeah. Well done, you. Took a bit of doing that. So, 52 and 71. So, it's conundrum time. Is here again. So, get ourselves ready for that. Please now reveal today's countdown conundrum. <laughs> well, they went for it both, I think, but Campbell rang first. Is it bucketing? Is it bucketing? Is it bucketing down? Let's put the conundrum handle down to see. It is bucketing. <laughs> 
Well, there we go. Um, so, well, relief for Ian. A uh, good uh, end there for uh, Campbell. But uh, the champion, the new champion, is Ian Corku. Well done, Ian. Thank you very much, sir. Well, I think Ian will be going a few because uh, he had a good lead at the end of the, the first half and it was eroded to just three points. So the Campbells were coming, certainly, but uh, uh, you got away again at the end. So uh, well done, uh, Campbell. I hope you've had a good time yeah, here. Absolutely. Uh, champion uh, for, uh, well, for a weekend, actually, which is quite good. Had a great weekend being champion of Canada. Very good chap. So here's a goodie bag for you, which is actually full of good stuff, really. The big dictionaries and uh, the teapot, of course and the Countdown Game, and the new Countdown Puzzle Book, and one or two things. So well done to Campbell Laurie. Bye-bye. <laughs> well, Ian will go into Champions uh, Chair tomorrow, and uh, Mark Tucker from Skipton will be here. Hi, Mark. Hi. Uh, that was a, they both oh, sort of got uh, one second. Oh, were you in bucketing? One I was second? still working on 329. Yeah, well, he... <laughs> <laughs> You and me both. OK, well, that's Mark from Skipton, so he'll be skipping in tomorrow. So for you two, goodbye. You two, goodbye. You, goodbye. goodbye. And from Richard Whiteley here, goodbye. 4.15 tomorrow. That's our date. Bye. <laughs>